Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Luke chapter 23 and the verse 46. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hand I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit is a quotation from Psalm 31 and the verse 5. It is also quoted by the Apostle Peter in 1 Peter chapter 2 and the verse 23. When they hurled their insults at him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he, did, he made no threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. Earlier on during his horrendous ordeal, our Lord Jesus Christ cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And this was an acknowledgement of the spiritual, the temporary spiritual separation from the Father that he experienced on the cross. However, at this point, just at the point of his departure, our Lord Jesus Christ cried out, Father, into your hand I commit my spirit. He was fully cognizant of the security of the Father's care. And therefore he committed his spirit to the one from whom it came and the one to whom it would return. How confident are you in your Father's care for the loved ones that depart, for your family and your friends who make their transition or how about yourself when you think about your own transition how confident and how comfortable are you for many the unknown is very scary many persons are uncertain and uh, they, they, they are terrified by the transition. But loved ones, I encourage you, let us trust God unreservedly with our lives. For many Christians, uh, they live in constant fear about losing their salvation. Therefore, the thought of death and dying scares them. It, 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 presents terrible dread. I remind you, however, that it is God who has declared us righteous and it is he who will keep us righteous. I remember the final conversation I had with my mother before she made her transition. In leaving her that Friday evening, uh, I asked her what did she want me to, to, to pray with her about? And we did pray about this very reality of her making the transition and how secure she would be in the arms of her, her, her Savior. Within 17 hours, she did make that transition to go be with the Lord, and she has been with Him ever since. Oh, what a joy it is to know that our loved ones are, are safe and secure in our Father's care, and that we too, will be safe and secure in our Father's care when we make that transition. Our, Lord, our Lord's pronouncement challenges us to be confident and comfortable as we and our precious loved ones depart this life to be with our Father. May this serve as a reassurance uh, for you today as, as, as we experience so much death and dying, so much loss during this pandemic. It has been a real period of death. But may, may, we, may we be at peace. May we be at peace that our loved ones who are in fellowship, who departed this life and were in fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ, that they are safe in his arms right now. Remember the words of, the, of the, the wonderful hymn of the Christian church. 
Now I belong to Jesus. Jesus belongs to me. Not just for the years of time alone, but for eternity. Oh, how beautiful. What about those persons, though, who do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ at this moment? Here is your opportunity, a golden opportunity, for you to consider committing your life to Jesus Christ. And if you, if you do, would you please just say a, a simple prayer to him, asking him to take control of your life and to cause you to be confident and comfortable that when you make your transition, you will be safe in his arms. Say that simple prayer to him today. And when you do, please text the word salvation to the number 647-309-7302 and someone is standing by right now to journey with you and to pray with you. God bless you. May I remind us all of the 49th Easter Convention of the West Toronto Church of God coming up on the Easter weekend. It promises to be a, a, a great outpouring. Uh, the theme is healed. It is an acknowledgement that our Lord's wounds and scars heal us. And I invite you to join us and to Invite your friends to join us too and to experience real healing from your everyday scars. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.